actually my first year of university I studied engineering and not physics and I took a couple of electives in physics and astronomy and found that I enjoyed them far more than the engineering stuff that I was working on for the, the main part of my degree pro program. Uh, so then I decided to change, change paths and study physics and astronomy from my second year onwards. The most memorable moment for me was probably the first time that one of the searches I was performing in found a new pulsar. Um, I remember that I had, I had written some scripts that would output the results to a website and that would be updated every day so we could see um, new pulsar candidates as they came in. Uh, and my PhD supervisor at the time came in and said, I, are you sure your website's working properly? I think there's, there's some weird results on one of the pages. And we looked in there and there was just this incredibly bright Pulsar candidate in there, um, which was the, the first Pulsar that we found during my PhD. So the most important scientific tool for me is Einstein at Home, which is our distributed volunteer computing system that provides us with an enormous amount of almost free computing power that we wouldn't otherwise have. And that lets us find pulsars that wouldn't otherwise be discoverable by any other means.